In this video episode, I'm going to create a simple Delphi 3D FireMonkey application. Let's start from creating a new multi-device application. I'm going to select a blank application template. And the first thing to do is to save all the files in the project. I'm going to create a new folder, FMX 3D Delphi. And I'm going to keep the default unit name and the name the project FMX 3D. OK, so the first thing to do is to uh, put on the form a new viewport uh, 3D component. I'm going to align this component to the client so it occupies the whole screen. And this is necessary to be able to use some of the 3D components that are part of Delphi. I'm going to use some of the 3D shapes. So specifically, I'm going to use a, a sphere component that I'm going to add to the form. I'm going to add to it a nice texture. I'm going to add animation uh, to make it spin. And I'm, so, I'm also going to add some interactivity uh, to this animation so that when the end user clicks on the sphere, I'm going to move it closer or further uh, from the user. OK, so the first thing is to add some uh, texture. In the materials uh, category, I have a T texture material source component I'm going to use uh, to uh, load the texture. Uh, so I'm going to use a nice flowers uh, from a free for commercial uh, use public uh, domain collection of images. So I have already downloaded this texture loca locally and I'm going to load it into the texture component. So in the texture property, I'm going to click on edit property and click on load and select uh, from my pictures folder my flower power 91. OK, so the texture is already loaded into the texture component. Now I need to assign it to the uh, sphere. So every 3D shape component has a material source property that you can use to at as attach to it any of the uh, materials. So now my sphere is very small. I'm going to make it bigger. So I'm going to change the scale of this uh, component uh, 10 times in all three direction. So I'm going to change the scale X to 10, scale, scale Y to 10, and scale Z to 10. OK, so now my, um, my sphere is a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm going to move the position, to change the position of this sphere so it's a little bit closer to the user. So in a FireMonkey 3D, uh, the coordinate system is such that the X direction goes to the right of the screen, the Y direction go down to the screen, and the Z direction goes into the screen. So if I make the Z property negative, it will uh, move the sphere a little bit closer to the user. OK, so that's nice. I'm going to add an animation. So my uh, sphere is going to uh, spin. I'm going to add a T float com animation component. So it's now added to the sphere. So first I need to select a property name. So you can see the list of old properties of the containing object that are of type float. So in this case, I'm going to select rotation angle Y. I'm going to change the duration to two seconds, make it enabled, make it loop and change the rot stop value uh, to 360 degrees. So now if I save my application and run it, I should see a nicely uh, spinning uh, sphere. OK, so the next and last step is to add some interactivity uh, to my uh, 3D visualization. So I'm going to add an on-click event to this uh, sphere. Uh, so this is an on-click event uh, translates to the touch events on the mobile platforms. Uh, so first I'm going to check where is my sphere. So if the sphere position uh, Z is lower, uh, less than zero, uh, then I'm going to uh, move it further from the user. So instead of just assigning to the position Z, I'm going to make a, a nice animation. I'm going to use a special T animator class that has an animate float class property. And I need to specify which component I want to uh, animate. What is the uh, property name I want to animate position Z and the new value of the property will be free. And uh, if we are already further from the user, I'm going to do uh, the opposite. So I'm going to move it back to the position minus three. OK, so that should do the trick. I'm going to save my uh, application and run it. So now 
uh, if I click on the sphere it should go deeper into the screen and if I click again it will go closer to the user. So this will also uh, work on a, a mobile uh, platform so uh, this click event will be translated into the uh, touch events. Okay, thank you very much for watching.